in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
express yourself in the spirit. God is here. You came for him. This is part of the meeting. This is how we do it here. Go ahead and sing in the spirit. of the living God we thank you in the midst of his people. This is called koinonia. An encounter with an ability that is beyond the realm of men. No matter how hardened you are,
Pastor Jake powerfully shared here that it's not enough to be instructed in righteousness. There must be an ability to receive it. He said, the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. The spirit entered. Until it enters, you will be pretending it. The spirit entered. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Just take two or three minutes to pray in tongues before we sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please greet somebody by your left and right and sit down if you can. We call this koinonia. Simply koinonia. The place of his presence. God is in the midst of for ye are come unto Mount Zion. That mount where there are innumerable companies of angels, the spirits of just men made perfect to the church of the firstborn. where he has chosen to leave us with a karagma of his presence. Adonai, Lamb of God, truly you are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, Tonight, let your kingdom reign in our hearts. Adonai, 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 yeah. Adonai. Adonai, 
worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, you're the Lord of lords. Let your kingdom reign. a special number. Let your kingdom come. Yeah. Let your kingdom come. This is our prayer. When his kingdom comes in your life, you will never be the same. Let his kingdom come upon that sick body. Let your kingdom come. First Thessalonians. There are angels moving around just bringing impartations in people as we do. Mighty impartations of fire. This is what I see happening in the spirit. Your presence. Hallelujah. See, listen. No matter what you have, if you do not have his presence, you have nothing. I don't care what you have. That ultimate secret is his presence. You can fake power. You can fake anointing. But you cannot fake the presence of the mighty one. like him he's the lion and the lamb he's seated on the throne see this is not a special number mountains bow down every ocean roll to the Lord of Lord. just listen to me I'm ministering to your spirit who is this God? He's the lion and the lamb seated on the throne. The Bible says the mountains keep like lambs in his presence. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. That is the one we serve. Mighty. It's great and mighty. Full of majesty. And he brought you here to change your life. He brought you to do something in your life. That no power in existence can stop. It is within his ability to create the change. Hallelujah. Listen. Many of you do not know. See, this is the ninth month and God is birthing a lot of things. It was in this month I began to talk about the miracle service from the first week. For as soon as Zion travails, she will put forth a son. All of the teachings that we have been building upon, 
sharing the secrets of the kingdom to prepare us for the things that the Holy Ghost is doing. I'm calling you higher, say at the Spirit of God. I'm calling you climb up that mountain, say at the Spirit of God. Climb up that mountain where your eyes will see clearer. Climb up that mountain. Climb up that mountain. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit, say the Lord. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit. There is a path that no fowl knoweth. The whelps of the lion has not gotten there. Majestic is his presence. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians 2 verse 8. First Thessalonians 2. I'm sorry, not eight. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, I would have come to you. It is my desire. For you to experience my presence. He said, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that blessing would have come to you. Wherefore, that healing, that breakthrough would have come to you. He said, I desire, but Satan hindered us. Tonight is a prayer meeting. We will pray. Wherefore, I would have brought the breakthrough for the family. Wherefore, I would have opened you up to certain realms of grace and power. He said, but Satan, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that genotype would have changed by now. Wherefore, that act of witchcraft and divination over families and territories would have been addressed. He said, but Satan hindered us. Let me tell you something. The kingdom of God is hidden in laws and mysteries. And all through scriptures, you will find the operation of the kingdom hidden in stories, 
experiences parables they are a revelation of the patterns the workings of the kingdom it takes illumination it's called the spirit of revelation and then your eyes are open to see beyond the story and then you begin to see the construction the build of the character and the operation of the kingdom and when you understand it you have those keys then you will command power in this territory and this is what we seek to transfer an understanding of the operation of the kingdom week after week this is our project to unveil unto you the secrets of the kingdom because when you find it then you will be able to operate in mastery in the last one or two months we have been unveiling a lot of things opening you up to the spiritual dimension of life all of the teachings have been a build up upon one and another to open you up to the spiritual dimension the bible says they know not neither do they understand they grope in darkness confusion and as a result the earth is out of course have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes and the remedy is an unveiling this is why we value the presence of the holy spirit so much the body of christ knows a lot they know a lot of bible stories but insight into the truth to understand the operation of the kingdom is what is deficient it says my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from out of thy heart keep them in the midst of the heart he said they are life to those who find them health to their flesh it will take your understanding of spiritual things it is understanding that will reduce satan to become nothing in your life hallelujah wherefore we would have come to you so there are many things that desire to come into your life breakthrough blessings increase he said but what happened satan hindered us satan hindered us hindered the blessing hindered the lifting hindered your insight access into the deep things of the spirit but satan hindered us hallelujah and tonight we have come to call the devil a liar we have come to open up the two lead gates that you will step into certain things that have a four time been given please take note of what is happening tonight there are healings already happening i'm seeing it in the spirit hallelujah we are going to be praying this night we will be confronting the gates of darkness are you hearing what i'm saying tonight we will pursue we will overtake and we will recover all many people have taught all kinds of junk messages look at me wickedness is real don't let anybody fool you with any sugar-coated message the Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. Hallelujah. Why do you need the power of the Holy Ghost? Because there are giants on every mountain. And the Bible says how all inspiring are your ways. It said through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Psalm 66 verse 3. Wherefore by now you would have been lifted by now your family would have risen to a level you would have stepped into another dimension but satan hindered us wherefore you would have been walking in mighty levels of grace by now 
your destiny help us have desire to come to you but satan hindered them wherefore your life partner would have come into your life you would have been happily married with dignity and honor but satan hindered them wherefore that job that opening but satan hindered us this is paul the apostle speaking i desire to come to you i know the things i carry and i know that if i meet you you will never be the same so satan hindered us wherefore you would have been coming to for koinonia years ago but satan hindered you wherefore your loved ones would have been here tonight with all your efforts to bring them but satan hindered them i need you to know that satan is determined to frustrate your christian experience are you hearing what i'm saying satan is determined he will use every spiritual arsenal within his control to see that he frustrates your spiritual life. Therefore, it will take understanding of the operations of the kingdom to triumph over him. He said, Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God. He said, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed and let not my enemies triumph over me. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Tonight, he's restoring everything in obedience to Christ. Satan has hindered a lot of people. Listen, we have been explaining these things right from the teaching, give me this mountain. That every time you arrive at that mountain, there are giants. Hear me? There are forces of darkness stationed across the earth to ensure that men do not rise. Zechariah chapter 1. This is a month of breakthrough. Something must happen in your life. I know that somebody believes this word. There are many who will sit down there and keep being cynical and watch others testify. Said they heard the word like we did, but the word did not profit them because it was not mixed with faith. Zechariah 1 from verse 17 down. Okay. Cry yet saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, My city's true prosperity shall be spread abroad. And the Lord shall yet comfort Zion. The moment he, it speaks about breakthrough, what happens? Next verse. Can you give us from Amplified? Is it possible? Please, Amplified. Then I lifted up my eyes and behold, four horns. Immediately he told the prophet, this is your prophetic destiny. This is what should happen to you. He said, now lift up your eyes and see what has been hindering you. He said, I lifted up my eyes and I beheld four horns. Amplified says, symbols of strength. Next verse. And I said unto the angel who talked with me, What are these? I have not been taught in church that there are horns that can lift people. They have deceived me that you just confess and enter your destiny. This is strange. I've not been taught. What are these? Many of, be, of you have been deceived that all it takes is just to laugh and you just jump in and enter your destiny. All it takes is to just pack five naira and put an envelope and come and drop it. Or that they pour a little dot of oil. Let me tell you the truth. There is more to the operation of the kingdom than this. He said, what are these? It is strange. I've not been taught. I've no, I wasn't given this insight that after a promise, there is a contention in the spirit to bring its deliverance. Most people just stop in verse 17. He said, now that I've told you your prophetic destiny, lift your eyes, let's tackle the resistance. What is this that you see? 
if it's raining, let them come in. Please come in. Sit anywhere. On the ground, on the altar, anywhere. Just find a place and sit down. Tonight is a serious meeting and we're going to pray. Listen. And he answered me. He said, these are what? The four horns of powers which have scattered Judas. Rob men of their praise. Rob men of their testimony. Judah means praise. Praise is an effect of a testimony. The well-doing of the Lord. Please come in. Come in everybody. Sit down anywhere. Come and sit here. Wherever you can find, just sit down. There are spaces all around. Ushers, please help them. I need everybody's attention. Are you following me now? He said they have scattered what? Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Tonight we will pray. Oh, that devil that is holding your destiny. See, no matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake. Is that true? No matter how mad he is, he can do stupid things and they say he's a madman. But when he sees fire, the Bible says he maketh his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Look up. Every promise in the Bible requires contentions in the spirit for you to actualize it. He said, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been released to you. There are more seats. Stand anywhere. No devil will stop you this night. So let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your home. Sing it one more time. Yeah. Let hope, let it rise. Hallelujah. Verse 20. Please follow me tonight. It says, Then the Lord showed me what? Four smiths or workmen. One for each enemy of the horn. He showed me four carpenters. He said, now I've shown you the horn. There are certain people I am going to send to you. He calls them carpenters. This is your promise. This is your destiny. Between you and your destiny, there are four horns. And the job of those horns is to scatter your life, scatter your finances, scatter your anointing, scatter your prayer life. He said, but I sent four carpenters. One for each horn. He said to beat it down. 21. Then said I, what are these horns or smith? So Satan sends his horn. See, let me tell you something. Go to verse 19. He said, these are four horns and four powers. Their job is to wreck your destiny. Are you listening to me? They are, they are patient. These are spirit entities scattered around the face of the earth. And every time they see anything that looks like growth and progress in your family, they are the ones, they watch to see when your sister gets pregnant. Their job is to scatter. He said to scatter Judah. Judah is the place of praise. Israel is the place of promise. 21. Then said I, what are these horns coming to do? He says, and he said, these are the horns of powers that scattered Judah so that what? No man will lift his head. There are forces. Hear me, Koinonia. There are forces of darkness. Positioned by the powers of darkness. He said, wherefore, I desire to come to you. But Satan hindered us. So that no man will lift up his head. They are scattered around our villages. They are scattered around ministries. 
so that certain ministries cannot lift up their heads so that certain destinies cannot lift up their heads that's the job every time anyone in your family is about to rise they contend in your academics in your finance the moment you begin to pray after one week your prayer life dies the horns the moment you have faith and say lord i trust you after three days something pushes you down are you following me now you enter a relationship two weeks something just happens and scatters everything who are these he said these are four horns they have been stationed and every time they see you lifting your head their job is to bring you down it's in your bible it says so that no man will lift up his head many ministries do not know the powers of darkness that try to tie them down are you listening to me the moment a ministry starts blossoming the men of god are carried away with money and prosperity and increase and ministrations they forget that there are four horns let the lord just declare a prophecy over your life and you will see these horns rise the moment they declared this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased all hell broke loose he said i desire to give you prosperity i desire to give you increase but there are four homes there are four homes there are many families represented here what you are seeing in your dreams and visions and what is happening in your life is different between that dream and the manifestation are four homes they are gates are you following me tonight I came to preach my heart because we are going to pray. Four homes. You go, you go and apply for a job. They are ready to respond to you. Three days later, something comes up without any explanation. See, hear me believers. If you don't take charge of your destiny and apply the keys of the kingdom, you may remain forever. And you will not lift up your head. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. My head. There are many ministers who struggle and struggle. They preach, they suffer, they go and do a lot of publicity. People come and get healed and go. They don't, these are four horns. The moment they pay your father's salary, everybody in the family starts becoming mysteriously sick without explanation until that one night I finish. You marry a man who was loving and caring, suddenly he becomes a Dracula. Four horns. Tonight, we have come under an apostolic and prophetic atmosphere to confront the gates of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me tell you, Satan can bow. Are you hearing me? Satan can bow. You must get angry in your spirit. Don't just sit and watching others. Forget about what is happening and concentrate. There's no space. Sit around. Find somewhere and sit. Tonight, when it's time to pray, I don't want to see you looking at me. Pack your wig. Pack your wivon. Keep it one side. We are going to pray this night. Hallelujah. He said, but these smiths or workmen have come to what? There are men that have been anointed to terrorize this horn. Are you saying that word? He said, see, he said, but these smiths, these carpenters have come to terrorize the horn. He didn't say, it's not just to defeat them, to terrorize them. There are people Satan is afraid of. See, Pastor Jakes made a statement, look at me. 
Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. There is this error in the body. There are two errors. One is the error of saying, see, everybody, I have the same access to God. Are you hearing me? I have the same access to God. There is nothing there. No man of God is special and this. Or the one that men of God make themselves semi-gods. Both are wrong. But let me tell you something clearly this night. Not every human being is a human being. The anointing has changed some people. The Bible says there are many bodies. Some are terrestrial. Some are celestial. They may look like you. The ability to recognize that difference is what will take you out of certain things. Are you hearing me? We are equal in Christ. But we are not equal in call and office and anointing. You must realize this. The Bible says there are some people that have been anointed to terrorize them and cause them to be panic stricken. Look at the horns that are terrorizing others. But the Bible says God calls some people and say, you, I just call you, come and become a terrorist. It's an election of grace. It's in your Bible. This is not error. It's not because they pray more. It is an office. an office to terrorize the works of darkness see let me tell you this night whatever power hear me i'm speaking under the unction of the lord whatever power that is responsible for holding any area of your life except god is not the god of heaven it must give up on you this night i said it must give up on you this night i don't care I speak under a prophetic and apostolic unction as one of these privileged carpenters. If I be sent of God, I speak to you. Every horn that is responsible for terrorizing your life, it will bow this night. He said, but I have sent carpenters. They are around, scattered over the earth. The only problem is that we have not trained our spirits to recognize them. Jesus went to certain cities, they saw him until he ascended to heaven. And they said, is this the man that has been among us? See, let me tell you, one of the greatest revelations you have in this life is that some people have been called. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's called an election of grace. I didn't call myself. See, let me tell you something. When the Lord showed me the vision for ministry, hear me. I was standing in a tower and I saw an endless sea of people very oppressed people messed up by satan it was a whole generation of people and i saw them crying and while they came close i was hearing the sounds of their cry and they were blaming me in the vision and i said what is wrong and they said there is no food and no water suddenly it occurred to me that i was holding in my hands the keys to the storehouse that will feed that generation this is a vision i had listen to me please hallelujah and when that happened i told them who is the cause who is the reason why you are the way you are and they said you are the one suddenly compassion fell on me and i said i'm going to come out right now i i got to that tower i was trying to hide from somebody that was when i looked through the mirror and i saw that thing it was fear and timidity that made me to run like gideon to go and hide in the vision but the people were telling me that we are dying here and you are the one who is holding the keys to the storehouse they said no food and no water these two things hallelujah and i was determined that i was going to go out the moment i opened the door because i was afraid that i was alone when i opened the door there was a giant person that stood and he said hold my hands 
we will go together. He's called the Holy Spirit. This is the whole idea behind the things we do with the Holy Spirit. People have criticized that we are emphasizing the... See, let me tell you, every great vision comes under fire and criticism because people do not understand. The Bible says they know not. I'm taking time to explain to you. This call, there are people who have been called as carpenters. You may die in a place without recognizing because you see everybody and you think they are celestial or they are terrestrial. There are some people that certain graces have elected them. Hallelujah. In one other vision, I was in a whole city and I found out that all the hospitals and the clinics were closed. And I was crying because there were people that were sick. I said, what is all this? What is going on here? And I had a voice. He said, go and heal them. That was the end. So when people hear that HIV positive is changing to negative, or when people hear that genotypes are changing, rather than finding out, they keep criticizing and castigating. We don't announce any miracle here without verification. He said, but these smiths or these workmen have been sent to terrorize these homes. That's why their lives are not normal. They are not normal human beings. They don't live like normal human beings. Hallelujah. Many of you do not know the burden of carrying a prophetic agenda for a generation. It will change you. I don't have a social life. I have lost many things that many people have. You do not know what it means to come under the influence of a divine mandate. I see a lot of people jumping and smiling. I'm apostle, I'm prophet. I want to open ministry and I say, oh dear. Day and night you are under fire of all sorts. But he that endures to the end Hallelujah. He said to cast out the horns or powers of the nations who have lifted their horn against the land of Judah to scatter it. There are horns, brothers and sisters, that are responsible for the way your father behaves, for the way your mother behaves, for the way your loved ones behave. You have tried counseling. You have tried psychology. It didn't work. They are called horns. But the Bible says, My head has thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn and you have anointed me with fresh oil. Hallelujah. Let's look at one more scripture. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9. Shila bakata prato soto balakata. Are you there? What did I say? 16, I'm sorry. 16, verse 9. Let's read together. It's projected. One to read. One to read it again. For a great door and effectual is opened up to me. And there are many, a great door is opened. The door of marriage has been opened. The door of healing has been opened. He said, but there are how many? But the Bible says, I have set before you an open door. He said, no man can shut it. And there are carpenters that have been sent to enforce that thing. Do you know what? Let me tell you something. We are not the only carpenters. You are here because you are one of those carpenters too. This is our mission. Our mission is not to become great men of God, but to make you a terrorist in the kingdom of darkness. See, it is not everyone, hear me, that is afraid of Satan. Are you hearing me? It's not everyone that is afraid of death. 
It's not everyone that is afraid of sickness. Some people have seen how cheap Satan is and he's aware. Hallelujah. That knowledge comes through an understanding of the operation of the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. There are many people who do not know. Listen, I want to tell you something. If you do not know the laws that govern the kingdom, it can be costly. Are you hearing me? Longevity is not a mistake. Longevity is not a product of going to church. There are kingdom principles that bring forth longevity. Divine health is not a mistake. Divine health is not a product of the anointing. Divine health is from the body of Jesus. Are you hearing me? Anointing comes to get away the demon spirits that are responsible for bringing that. He said by his stripes. He didn't say by the oil. We have misapplied a lot of spiritual laws. Authority against witches and wizards is not the issue of uh uh. There are kingdom principles, and this is what we seek to share. Greatness does not happen by magic. Many of you are asking, Why is the devil disturbing me? Are you still asking that question? When Satan followed Jesus to the wilderness, was patient for one month and ten days until Jesus finished fasting. What makes you think that the devil will just look at you and say, Oh, I understand you are anointed. But it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to look at the devil eyeball to eyeball and say, I am one of those carpenters. <laughs> Hallelujah. There are some of you who don't sleep. When you close your eyes, you are oppressed. I was one of those people. The Bible says, a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field. Tonight we have come to call the devil a liar. I've come to speak to you that there is an authority. There are seven things that redemption brings unto men. All of them must be at work in your life. The Bible says, worthy is the lamb to receive blessings, riches, honor. These are all the things he has received and he has given you. Seven. And it must be at work in your life. Hallelujah. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that have stood against little children? Who are these horns? You are aware of the testimony of the man who came here and who was healed, I think, during one of the services or thereabout. He was sleeping in the night. Somebody appeared to him in a dream. Remember the story? With big syringe, injected this man with HIV virus and he woke up physically with the virus. That devil is a liar. Come on now. Years ago, I used to pray for barren people and they were not healed. They didn't give birth. It disturbed me. And I went back. I said, Lord, what, what is it? Then the Lord told me, barrenness is not sickness. It's an oppression. It doesn't require healing. There is a spirit. The spirits come and they create what we call fibroid. Fibroid is the baby of these spirits in the womb of people. That's why women have miscarriages in the night. Why don't they have miscarriages in the daytime? But you are carpenters. See, I look forward to testimonies. Where will he, somebody will say, Ah, I heal the sick and I raise the dead. Not Pastor Jakes did this. Uh uh. You be the carpenters. You are not falling down for nothing. You are not falling down to prove we are anointed. God is in a serious business of working on you. Say, I'm one of the carpenters. Say it, I'm one of the carpenters. Yes financial carpenters apostolic carpenters one of my life's goal is to break the back of poverty 
in the church is one of it I hate the effect of poverty on many families more ladies have entered prostitution they didn't come to meet you how much do you have many people have been messed up there are some of you now you want to marry but you cannot get married because of the finance and some of you are hoping that one day I will get a job of 10,000 and then I will get married calculate it by your do you to judge But when those that God has sent to bless you, they can come in one day. He said, your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Do you believe this? You are going to get angry this night. This night we are going to pray. I'm just sharing with you scriptures. The Bible says, Daniel, in chapter 10, remember... How that Daniel was praying and fasting. Wanting to get an understanding. And the Bible says the moment is there from the very first day. Daniel 10. You start reading from verse 5 down to 11 verse 1. When he was coming, the Bible says the prince of Persia. Withstood the angel 20 and 1 day. The prince of Persia withstood him. Hallelujah. The prince of Persia withstood him. Until he kept praying. The moment that embargo was lifted, the angel said, Now I am come to give thee understanding. One of the chief princes came to hell. Tonight there is divine backing of the angelic. As we pray, there will be things happening in the realm of the spirit. Yokes of darkness that will be broken. This is pre-miracle service. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. That's what God will do tonight. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Sing it one more time. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, to break every chain. I've shared it here. Before we would start Koinonia, listen, I realize that there is a secret to increase and growth. And I knew that there were powers over territory that kept ministries down. I've shared this again. From the roundabout of Chicken Republic, I started walking there till aviation, commanding the forces to bow commanding principalities and power and then the city opens up before i go for administration in any city i speak to the principalities they know my voice see let me teach you something there are principalities there are powers there are rulers there are spiritual wickedness in heavenly places these are different strata of of darkness but the Bible says you have been exalted above thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. Both in this realm, this world, and in the world to come. 
So you command them to bow. Hallelujah. As our prayer department begins to pray, they speak over the week and an open heavens and you are there in your house. You don't even know what carries you from your house. You are still complaining and insulting us yet you are coming because the heavens are open. There's an army rising up. You are that prophetic army. There's an army rising up. I tell you, you are that army. There's an army rising up. Tonight, every one of you is going to represent not just yourself, but even your families. Hear me? Your families have been praying for a savior. Say, we can't die like this. And God said, come for koinonia. You, you, let God find a carpenter. Hallelujah. I just came, today I just came, I've been at home. I needed to go and visit the house. As soon as I stepped in, in the night, that night as I slept, in a dream, the Lord showed me everything that was wrong. And I got up the next day while they were sleeping. Hallelujah. I got anointing oil, poured it inside water, and carried the bucket. I took my bare foot and I was walking around. And I was commanding the forces in that territory to bow. I said, an ambassador is in town. This is what we are teaching you. Hallelujah. An ambassador is in town. I went and looked at my mother's poultry. I said, I command increase. See, if you know the office that you stand in in Christ, you will not take it for granted. The Bible says, as I hear you say before my ears, so will I do. Realize you are not ordinary. You are not the one looking for help. And if there is any need for help, we will grant you the help here by the grace of God and empower you to go back. When you see things that are not working, rejoice because you are here. You carry the backing of heaven. Your job is to legislate. Your job is to legislate. The Bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An ambassador. You must realize this. So that you don't just stand at home. Or in your offices. Everything that is going wrong. Start blaming yourself. And say now. Everybody is lamenting. If there is nobody. I am an ambassador. Say it. I am an ambassador. An ambassador, this is why God is bringing you, and you are going to pray as you pray first for yourself, and then through the fire of the Holy Ghost, you will dislodge powers over your life, and then you will see testimonies rolling in. Suddenly, you will find out that certain insights you have been struggling to get. Suddenly, there is an open heaven, your ministry or your fellowship takes another level as if Satan does not exist. Hallelujah. Nobody ever came to Jesus Christ. Hear me. After he went 40 days and 40 nights, Satan came to withstand him because Jesus wanted to come to the people like Paul. But Satan withstood him. When he defeated Satan, suddenly on the mountain, people started coming. Along the water side, people said, what happened? Powers were dislodged. This night, hear me, you are not praying for healing. You are confronting the gates of darkness. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Rise up on your feet. Listen. 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 I want you to know that heaven is backing you tonight. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say, heaven is backing me. Say, it, heaven is backing me. Because we are going to pray now and by the power of the Holy Spirit I tell you there will be an eruption of testimonies 
after this night's meeting you will know that the things that have been happening around your life and your family they are not as ordinary as they look you are the holy ghost holy ghost holy ghost you are the holy ghost take your place number one hallelujah you are going to pray and say in the name of Jesus I confront gates that are stopping the finances the finances grace that are making your family members not to be titers grace that are making them not to be givers lift your voice Financial days. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please hold on. This prayer must be serious this night. Please let's have two of our school of ministry students, two prayer band. Benga, come. Kenny, come. Go on one of the mic. Our school of ministry students, where are you? Are you not? Tolu, come. Quickly, two, three. Well, you, it's okay. You push, go and share the mic. Stand behind. When I say pray, if you are not praying, you will go back to your seat. You are not out for jamboree. We are going to pray. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Four horns. There are four prayer points we have. The Bible says they were sent to one. This finance thing, you are going to pray it. Lift your voice and pray.
The Bible says, there is no man, hear me, that will enter into a man's life and, and spoil the good, except he first find the strong man. He said, and I will give you the keys of it. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of us will be surprised what will happen this night. Prayer point number two. You are going to declare and say, Satan... The Bible says, through the greatness of thy power, right now, I command those forces, bow. Lift your voice and pray. Bow. Bow. Principalities, bow.
fire is burning in this place. Fire is burning in this place. Listen. Are you still praying? The Bible says, when you catch a thief, listen please, when a thief steals your property and you catch that thief, he won't bring back what is stole. He said he will restore sevenfold. This is what the Bible says. Sevenfold. You're going to pray. See, listen. The Lord is showing me, in, I'm in a vision right now. He's and the Lord is showing me angels Baranas. holding baskets. Baranas. Hear me? But the baskets are empty. Listen. Please follow me. <laughs> there is a prophetic atmosphere here. There are empty baskets. And I'm wondering, and the Lord is ministering to me. He's saying this basket will be full of the blessings that are due God's people. See? Si Hear me? Si he said, and I will restore. Si Hear me? Canker worms can eat years of people's life. So you are growing older, but nothing is happening. But this night, hey, I don't know about you, but I came to Koinonia. I'm placing a demand. Everything you know, Satan took. I'd like you to call it back and say, Restore. ministered something Restore. to me. We are still praying on the third point. Restore. The Lord said, Restore. we should call back opportunities Restore. that were either missed or wasted. Restore. Are you hearing me? There are some of you, some circles came into your life. Restore. Either by carelessness it passed. Let me tell you, Restore. it's only in this realm that you count time. In the realm of the spirit, you can call time back. Hear me? I don't care what opportunity you missed. Restore. Whether it was an opportunity for marriage, Restore. for job, Restore. right now, I want you to call back Restore. that opportunity. It will call back. Yes. Yes. Let's <laughs> go. 
Satan is until you engage in prayer. Satan will keep opening his eyes until you pray. When you pray, the devil will shrink and you see how powerless he is. Hallelujah. Now, one last prayer point. We'll add one more. You are going to confront the gates over your family. See, don't let anybody fool you that there are no gates. Let me tell you something. Some of you are the last card that God has to use over your family. If you don't do anything about it, don't think God brought you here just to waste your time. Listen. See me. Listen, listen. If you truly love your family members, effectual prayer is not just by shouting. It is the seriousness. Put your heart in this prayer. Many of you, as you pray, you will begin to see vision. See, hear me. Listen, let me tell you something. Listen, listen. Uh, see, we don't kill people in this place. But let me tell you, God is a God of mercy, but he's a God of judgment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are certain horns. We don't care who these horns are. Unfortunately, sometimes... As this power is taking some human beings become victims. We don't kill people. But whatever it will take for the glory of your family to rise, you will pray it is not. Lift your voice. I'm 
I will not let you go. And the Bible says, when he touched his thigh, he said, What is your name? He said, Jacob, which means a cheat and a supplanter. He said, You are called Israel, for as a prince, you have sought with God and prevailed. And the Bible says, Hear me. He says, And the sun rose, and he called that place Peniel. Hallelujah. I've told you as much, hear me. I've told you as much as possible. Please invite your loved ones for the miracle service. You don't hear me talk like this. We are only responding to the things that the Holy Spirit, if they refuse, no problem. For God will do a work in this place. Hallelujah. We'll take one more prayer point. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for this ministry. Hear me. I'm like a pregnant woman right now. Because I know when we step into seasons. God has his way. In the last three to four months. That's why you find out that you don't find me outside. I have been praying and preparing birthing new and mighty things in the spirit. We are stepping into a dimension. See, for when you are faithful with what God gives you, he said he measured a thousand cubits and it was to the ankle. And when he saw that you were faithful, he measured a thousand cubits. Many of you are already sensing that there are newer levels of grace. You can see that the unction upon the house is not what it used to be. Yes. This is ushering season. Oh, For when God wants to bless you, He will first increase the anointing, then enlarge your sphere of influence. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all the media. You have taken all the praise. You have made. Hallelujah. you love this ministry I'd like you in the next few minutes to pray your life out listen you're going to pray for the ministers see the way ministers are falling around like leaves immorality all kinds of things I've said it any man can fall from any height are you hearing what I'm saying and if you love us pray for us pray for us we are going to pray for this ministry we are going to say Lord let a dimension of grace hear me hear the prayer point and fire spread from this place and around this nation God is already doing great things through our teachings I cannot describe to you what is happening around the media can tell you best 
the mighty and terrible things that God is doing. Some of you have gone back and you have become mighty agents of change. Even you, you are surprised at yourself. This is what we are training you to become. And hear me, when you are praying for the ministry, you are praying for yourself. The ministry is not Joshua Selman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You're going to say, Lord, together, as a family, nobody will rise and leave another. Are you hearing me? There will not be a few men of God rising, growing in grace. Hear me? There are certain things God has given us as a ministry. Number one is the presence of God. Number two is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The love of God. God has given us influence. God has given us prosperity. We are going to pray that the strongholds that attempt to raise their heads, listen, there will never come a time where we will not have testimonies here. The vision must speak. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to command and say every force that will want to stop the vision from speaking, it will speak in your own life. It will speak. If truly God has called us, something should come upon your life that you will become a peasant of the vision. Lift your voice and pray for ear. of the ministry our school of ministry god is raising mighty mighty men of power in all spheres not just ministry you're going to pray for our students you're going to pray for the missions hallelujah you're going to pray for koinonia you're going to pray for all of the things that we are doing you're going to say lord not one sick body will come and not be healed not one oppressed person you're going to pray for grace to stand criticism grace to stand persecution grace to remain faithful grace to remain grateful grace to remain humble Let's go. 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 Let's go.
I want to do something prophetic this night. Hallelujah. One of the things God has given us is the spirit of dominion. You know what dominion is? Dominion means to legislate the counsel of God in any sphere, Satan notwithstanding. And among the many things that will happen to you tonight, I'm going to pray for you. That everything we stand for, your life must represent it. See, if you do not represent what we stand for, we are fake. It means we are lying. It means we are faking power somewhere. If we are healing the sick, you should heal the sick. You must not be in ministry. If we are humble and you are arrogant, there is something wrong with the transference of spirits. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. I want you to believe, my brothers. Believe. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please be careful with the fans. Father, you didn't send us to waste people's time. You didn't send us to be noisemakers. My God, I am praying this night. Every power, every force against any area of your life, this night, if I be sent as a servant of God, if God has ordained us as one of these carpenters, I pray right now, those powers bow. 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 Every power hindering your marriage in this place, hear me, or the marriage of your loved ones, this night, I release you in the name of Jesus. Everything stopping your breakthrough. Breakthrough. As surely as the God of heaven lives. Between this night and next Friday, I command unbelievable breakthrough. Receive it. Receive it. I invoke it from the heavens with the backing of Elohim. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Every close heaven in this place, whether it's as a result of non titan or mistakes or whatever, I don't care what is responsible. Every heaven that is closed in this place, right now, this night, I pray, let the heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be open over you. Let the heavens be open over you. Hallelujah. This month, there are three things I'm speaking into your life now. Listen. Number one is authentic unction. Listen. Number two 
is favor that you cannot imagine. Listen. Number three is honor. Receive this threefold Amen. blessing. Receive it. Amen. Receive power. Power to heal the sick. Amen. Power to cast out devils. Hear me. In the name that is above all names. Whatever bows to us here. Let it bow to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever answers to us. Let it answer to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for your family. Hear me, enough is enough this night. Lift your hands. Super. Super. Your families will never believe you or the God you serve until there is an evidence. I pray, my God that evidence of breakthrough that will compel families to know that you are at work let there be a release now let there be a release now let the angel of the Lord go across every state every city I instruct it every city Saria, Abuja, Lagos, Calabar Kogi State, Jos angels in the name of Jesus go and confirm breakthroughs go and confirm breakthroughs go and confirm breakthroughs give testimonies 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 so that they will know that your God is alive hallelujah Hallelujah. The Lord is instructing me to do something dangerous. Please take off your shoes and stand on your feet. This is not diabolic, please. Don't go and start criticizing us and talking nonsense. Listen, something will come upon your life this night. Please listen. Listen. I don't do stupid things just because people are doing I don't have money. The Bible says, hear me. It says, anywhere the sole of your feet treads upon, it has been given to you. I want to pray, hear me. Many of you do not know the mystery of what is happening, but I want you to believe. You will be amazed. Because I see an angel of the Lord, pure red from head to toe. Never seen, listen, I've never seen this angel of the Lord. And this is what he was telling me. That there is an impartation and a transference. Hear me. The influence we enjoy as a ministry is not a mistake. Are you hearing me? God has honored us and taken us to where we cannot merit. I want it to come upon your life this night. Lift your hands. Many of you will receive mighty impartations. Hear me. You will see things answering. See, your Christianity will have results. Father, I stand as your servant tonight. Under the instruction that you have given me. My God, there is a spirit upon this ministry. An operation of the Holy Ghost. The operation of dominion. An inexplainable influence. At the count of three. My God, let every feet upon this ground receive that anointing and demonstrate it practically. Thank you, Father. One, two, three. Receive it. Take 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 it. Receive it. The spirit of communion. The action of kingdom influence. Let the crowd open up for you. 
just one more scripture John chapter 10 verse 10 Jesus was teaching and he said this he says the thief cometh not King James the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy are we together but then he says I am come I am come it's a manifesto like you say, vote me. I want to do something for you. And then he says, look, the thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He says, but I am come that ye may have life and to have that life more abundantly. Other versions say to the fullest. The Bible identifies Satan as a thief. Are we together? And what is the character of a thief? Let me tell you. A thief studies an environment and takes advantage of the vulnerability of the people. Second, Corinth, Second Chroni, um, Corinthians chapter 2. Uh, I believe, give us Second Corinthians chapter 2. Holy Spirit, help me. Verse 11. There's a scripture that just came to my mind as I was talking. Two, thank you. Lest Satan should do what? Take advantage are you seeing that? Lest Satan should do what? Take advantage of us. It says for we are not ignorant of his methodology. There is a system with which Satan destroys people. The first system is to study your vulnerability. So he waited until Jesus was hungry and he came through that angle of hunger. Are we together? One of the many blessings of growing in the word is that you close every access point for Satan to be able to take advantage in your life. The area of the kingdom you are not furnished and established in will become the access point of darkness in your life. Are we together? He said, lest Satan should take advantage of us. We are Christians. But because of our inaccurate understanding of the systems of God, Satan can leverage on our ignorance. Satan can leverage on certain spiritual possibilities and buffet our lives. Write it down. I've taught it again and again, but I want to repeat it very quickly. There are only three ways Satan has access to people, especially believers. Only three ways. Number one, covenants. Covenants. This is the system of transgenerational allegiance whether towards God or towards Satan. A covenant creates a platform for access regardless of the individual openness of the people. A territory can have a covenant with God to find expression at all times. When David was dedicating the temple, he stood up and said, Oh Lord, whoever faces this temple in Jerusalem and prays unto you, we pray it's a covenant that you hearken to them. So when Daniel was about to be destroyed, when they signed a law, the Bible says he opened his window towards Jerusalem, remembering the covenant. Are we together? And the Bible says he prayed. Covenants. They are fraternities that we come into, whether with God or with demon spirits, that authorize certain levels of activities in lives, in families, and in territories. Please pay attention. I'm building a conviction in us so that we'll pray. A covenant is so powerful because in a covenant, your, your individual refusal or acceptance does not necessarily change things ordinarily. Are we together? I give you an instance. They did not consult with you to change fuel price because there is a covenant. By birth, you are a Nigerian. Are we together? So whatever happens to this country, as an individual, you can exempt yourself. But as a territory, we are under a common challenge. Are we together? When Jesus 
saw somebody who was born blind his disciples asked a question he said who sinned that this man was born blind he said him or his father in other words there was something in the teaching of jesus to them that had taught them that there can be things that transcend a generation are we together and transcend a territory now there are several people in a bid to bring balance to the exaggerated um, activities of demon spirits we have deceived people into believing that covenants do not have anything and so we have people jumping and say no way but there are 11 people in a family none of them is giving birth yet they are they do not want to admit that there is something wrong covenants are powerful covenants are respected in the realm of the spirit there is a law that without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins so the word had to become a lamb and go through that condition for mankind to be saved there are families born again but they do not understand the systems of god your personal salvation does not affect your territory it takes an operation of the kingdom for that reality to be established it is not negating what christ has done the confusion here usually has come from an accurate or an inaccurate understanding of the prophetic speakings of god and the experiential manifestation follow me please when god speaks he speaks from the realm of his possibilities and he's prophetic in his communications he called things that be not as though they are are we together but when it comes to the experiential manifestation of the same there is a partnership from this earth realm to make it real in the eyes of god no one should go to hell is that true because the price has been paid are there still people dying and going to hell today yes does that mean the work of salvation is is is, is um is a failure no the people have not opened up their will there are many of us today by the grace of god who will be healed but scripture was not just written this night it's been written before our forefathers were born however tonight there is a principle we are going to engage in that will make it become real are we together now yeah listen sickness should give us an understanding that covenants are real if you are a Christian and you are tongue talking and you can still fall sick, that means you are a Christian and you can still be buffeted by demons. There is a spiritual logic to this. It is not insulting your salvation. It is to help you understand that there is, there is, there is an understanding that will give you freedom. Please, I want you to pay attention to this. Many individuals, especially those who love God, are victims of fraternities the goal of covenants is to create transgenerational allegiance whether to god or to the devil the missionaries came and brought the gospel of salvation but they did not bring the gospel of the kingdom so malaria killed them you call it malaria we know what killed them are we together because there are systems in the kingdom so you can be born again your eternal salvation can be secured but then because we do not understand the operations of the world we can just pretend and say everything is all right faith is not foolishness the end of faith is a manifestation if you are trying trying and nothing is happening i think it's it's very it's very humble to open up yourself and say look i see patterns the clearest proof of an existence of covenants is patterns similarity of happenings regardless of the individuals they rob your brother in a quiet bomb your sister is minding herself in benway they rob her too two of them were not discussing it because you see covenants give access to certain operations of of spiritual beings whether god or satan i can enter a covenant of righteousness with my family that can grant god access even someone who is an unbeliever can come under the corporate covering of that covenant that's what brought people out of egypt so long as there was blood whether the individuals believed or not for as long as their door a representative of the people had blood the angel of death passed covenants i have seen this i saw it in my own life i saw it in my own family I've seen this in the life of pastors. I've seen this in the life of sincere people. 
Number two, ignorance. The second access point. He said, lest Satan should take an advantage of us. On the strength of our ignorance in this area, ignorance. Ignorance. Incomplete understanding of the principles of the word or no understanding completely. Both of them in the spirit is called ignorance. Whether you know the principle or you know part of it is still ignorance. Because you are only having, um, the Bible says you will arise and you will shine, Isaiah 60 verse 1. Not because you are tired of sitting, but it says your light is come. It's always been there. But the day it comes to you, it has the power to cause you to arise and shine. Ignorance. That's why we spent three weeks expounding on the mysteries of the kingdom. To help us understand the systems of God. Listen, the journey of a believer starts with Christ. It does not start with principles. It starts with an encounter of the person Christ. When you begin to study principles outside of an, the encounter of Christ, you will get into Scientology and witchcraft and mysticism and spiritism. You must encounter the object of your encounter is the person Jesus. Are we together? From that standpoint of encounter, he reveals himself to you. He brings you to a point of intimacy. And your reward for intimacy is power. And that power is divided into two. One, power that comes from the understanding of the systems of God. And another dimension of power that comes as a reward for intimacy. So there are two dimensions of the operations of God's power. Number one is the dimension of his power that is programmed into his laws. By believing those laws, the power is released. Whether you are praying or not. Seed time and harvest is an example of such laws. You engage it and the power of God is released. Are we together? Yeah. But there are certain dimensions of power that will only be released on the strength of intimacy. So it is from that standpoint of encounter, you begin to explore the systems of God. The systems of God defines his way of operation. And the moment you comprehend that, then you will truly access power. Ignorance. You can be born again and be ignorant. Number three, disobedience. The last access point of Satan is disobedient willful refusal to comply with God's principles willful refusal that's disobedience you're not doing it out of ignorance the Bible says having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete not when you start when it's complete Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 says, And it shall come to pass, right, that if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, to do and observe all that I command you this day, it says that you shall be exalted above all nations, and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. Then he begins to list them. It shall come to pass. If thou will diligently. Joshua verse one, uh, chapter 1 verse 8 right the Lord was speaking to Joshua and then he says this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth he says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all all not some observe to do right then he says then shall thou make thy ways prosperous and you shall have good success it's very important obedience 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 is not just hearing what god has said obedience is doing what god has said in john chapter 2 when the servants came to mary she said whatsoever he tells you to do he said do it hallelujah paul the apostle was encouraging the the early church and he said now that ye know these things in fact it wasn't just paul i think it was jesus himself he says, now that you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. Now that you know, happy are ye if you do them. These, brothers and sisters, as mysterious as Satan looks, this is the only way he can find expression. His 
possibilities are finite they are not infinite number one is covenant the strongest access point to satan or of satan into people's lives and then number two we have ignorance and number three disobedience and that's why we are gathered here tonight that god will grant us grace to take advantage of the provisions that have come in christ and end this this buffeting of darkness over our lives and destinies and i pray that it will be someone's testimony tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for you from the depth of my heart that as god begins to touch people he will touch you and end this captivity in your life once and for all is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am listen i want you tonight to believe god do not come to God carelessly. Listen, the Bible describes the kind of attitude we must have when we come to God. Hebrews 11 verse 6, it says, For without faith it is impossible to please Him. He said, For he that cometh unto God must come believing, must believe that He is. That means He exists. And then that He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. So every time you approach God, you don't come to try. Let me find out whether God can touch this cancer. Let me find out whether God can end my captivity. No. You come to him believing. Say I'm a believer. So tonight I want you to approach the mighty God. Knowing that he's able to do all things. Believe me. You have your requests. You have your needs. Take your eyes away from that infirmity. And believe in God it does not look it can be within the twinkling of an eye and god will change your story it doesn't take him time god is not a carpenter he doesn't build by nailing things he builds by speaking are we together now he called darkness light and it became light i really believe god and i came here tonight trusting that god will touch us it's going to be a very quick walk that's why I'm taking out the time to speak to us. Very quickly, let me just take the altar call now. Look up, please. Let that be the first miracle tonight. Let's take the altar call so that as we begin to move and just flow, we'll just move in one single sweep. There's a lot to do tonight and we want to save time so that we can finish on time. I told you that there are three access points of Satan. One covenants two ignorance three disobedience are we together john chapter 3 from verse 16 says for god so loved the world he said that he gave his one and only begotten son who is no longer his one and only but the first begotten of we because he has called many of us into glory are we together then it says that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life the thing i love about the faith life is that you are never forced to do anything your response in the kingdom is always a product of revelation and your willingness if you are willing and obedient then you will eat the good of the land there are people seated here right from praise and worship there are so many listening to me the first overflow and all the overflows around there are so many connecting uh, you know on our social media platforms and you're hearing my voice right now and the holy spirit is telling you the man of god is talking to you the first miracle that can happen to you tonight is the miracle of ending the mismanagement of your life by trying to run it your own way are we together that you hand over your life when you come to jesus 
you don't just come and accept him in your heart you take your heart and say lord i give you everything not i give you my spiritual life i hand over my entire life to you everything i've been through use it for your glory lord i offer my life to you everything that's true repentance that as you come here you are not just coming because you are feeling guilty you are coming here sincerely saying i'm tired of mismanaging my life there's got to be more than this there's got to be more than living my life the way i want i must come under authority and i know there are so many people inside and outside hearing my voice some of you have never made this decision to make jesus lord of your life you've made a decision to go to church you've made a decision to join a religion called christianity but you have not made a true decision to surrender everything and there are people there's another category i'll call all by uh, at, at once so that we'll save time there are those who at one point you truly made a genuine decision but the cares of this life the challenges in your life just overwhelmed you and right now you know that as it is right now as it is right now you cannot say things are all right between you and god you've backslidden you've you've turned away but the bible says if my people who are called by my name it says shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then it says then we lie here from heaven and will forgive their sin and then will heal their land forgiveness will always follow healing are we together i'm going to make an altar call right now any of the overflows outside inside here very fast i'll count one to ten listen there are people the holy ghost is speaking to and you know that you need to make your ways right with jesus you're saying lord things are happening in my family i do not even know the name of what is going in my family the first key is to surrender your all to sacrifice everything before his throne and say lord i'm not just coming to receive healing i'm coming to start a new life it's called zoe god's very life not another kind the very life of god hallelujah praise the lord before i make the altar call i want us to all close our eyes and pray in one minute intercede for those who are about to come and say lord no power will stop them from coming no power will stop them from coming we believe in the salvation of souls this is not a cinema where we are watching football this is a place where god is changing lives and destinies pray as you are praying for many of you the lord is going to be speaking to you right now there are so many outside in all the overflows it's like you've been waiting for a man to call you and say return home he's calling you he's calling you hallelujah now i'm going to count one to ten wherever you are please i'd like us to begin to celebrate them outside inside don't wait for others you are returning to christ and you are making this decision for the first time leave your seat and make your way quickly one we we'll count one to ten don't wait for anybody god bless you they are coming two please clear the way for them outside don't let no friends stop you jesus is calling you No, no, no. You are, doing, you are doing a very noble thing. Don't let any friend. Please encourage them outside. If you came with anyone, don't stop them from coming out. God will punish you if you stop anybody from coming out because he's your friend. It's, it's, it's an entirely, um, it's a personal affair. God bless you. Keep coming. Koinonia, a sacrifice of your applause to motivate them and encourage them. Jesus.
son of God I believe in you I believe in you keep coming Jesus son of God I believe in you I believe in you hallelujah the Lord is still speaking to me that there are people you need to make your ways right with God in fact the Lord is showing me at least three ladies you've not prayed like for the last two months because you are asking what I have done will the Lord really really open up himself to me and the Lord is saying you should make your way to the front clear the way for them please clear the way I don't care whether you are a pastor you are a prophet make your way to the front this is serious business I believe there are still people outside in the overflows the first the second overflow and across the road please make your way to the front we are going to wait for you one more minute we are going to wait for you we are going to wait for you please don't play games with God tonight this is your destiny he wants to bless you he says for I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord Jeremiah 29 11 he says thoughts of peace thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end I believe in you I believe in you let's all sing this song one more time and then we'll pray for them Jesus Son of God I believe Hallelujah. I sincerely want to appreciate us, young and old. We're all here to receive Jesus Christ. Look at me, please. If I, if I give you a new phone, you don't accept it as though you are embarrassed. You accept it with gratitude. Salvation is greater than any other thing you will be receiving tonight. Are we together? And so I want you to be very proud of what you are doing whether you are being restored or you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time just make sure you are not reciting a poem make sure this is from the depth of your heart are we together lift your right hand high to the heavens and say this after me I'm just guiding you but the most important thing is the sincerity of your heart say after me Lord Jesus I believe in you I believe that Jesus is the son of God I believe that he died for me I believe that he rose again for my justification tonight I make Jesus my Savior my Lord I hand over my life and my destiny to your care and I ask that you be my Lord my God my King forever from today the hold of sin the hold of the flesh over my life comes to an end this is a new beginning in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted as I pray for you father you see these hands lifted they have made genuine sincere commitments I pray that the Spirit of God that is our seal of redemption will be a witness to this spiritual transaction and I pray in the name of Jesus that from tonight let there be a new beginning in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a new beginning for every one of us no going back to the world no going back to the flesh by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. A big congratulations to all of you. This is the best decision you would have made in your entire life. Hallelujah. Now, I'd like you to follow. Okay, this way, we're going to follow um, the ushers as they lead you. There'll be a group of people to have your names, your details, and we'll follow you up. They'll be very brief so that you come back and join us. Um, please be very fast with them because we're about to get up to the ministrations right away. God bless you. Thank you for this great decision. Let's honor them. Koinonia, bless them. Bless them.
Let's honor them as they go. Please rise up on your feet. We are going to pray for a few minutes. Hallelujah. We are about to pray for a few minutes. And I want our hearts to be open. Let's participate in the prayer. Hallelujah. Listen, when we pray, hear me, when we pray, we authorize heaven to step into our lives. Are we together? This is a miracle service and I want us to pray. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, please media help us. We're about to pray. We're about to pray. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. It says, call on to me and I will answer. Call on to me and I will answer. He says, and I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Call on to me. You see, prayer is a sign of humility because it's an indication that there is so much I do not know and there is so much I cannot do. Are we together? Prayer is a sign of humility. When you call on God to step into your life, it is because you acknowledge that he is able. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, I know you are able. Lift your voice. Come on, pray, pray, pray. We are praying, please. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, I believe you are able. That's why I'm here tonight. I believe you are able to heal that cancer, to heal that HIV. Lord, I believe that you are able to give me a new story. I acknowledge you, I recognize you as the mighty God. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Self time in the name of Jesus. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I declare that every force tying down my life, tying down my destiny, tying down my progress, you come under arrest tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Oh, come on, Koinonia, are you praying? Every force. Shabakatalaba Praska Barata Kareto Supa. Shekete Pretekele Baba Baba Baba. Rakata Barato Soto Pregelebelebo. Embrakata Lakate Seketaba. Seke Pras Kabarata Labadash. Oh, you come under arrest tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I set before you this day blessing and cursing, life and death. 
but it says i advise you choose life so that you and your family will live i'd like you to say in the name of jesus i make a decision tonight i make a choice tonight that i must leave this place free i'd like you to open your mouth and mention the challenges that brought you here and say i am determined i make a decision i make a decision I make a decision. I make a decision. I make a decision. Are you praying? Shabara Katalaba. Mambra Katalakata. I make a decision. I make a decision. Please pray. Make sure you are praying. I make a decision. I must walk out of here healed tonight. I must walk out of here changed tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. Every covenant orchestrated by darkness to keep me limited in life, to keep my family limited in life. Tonight, I declare that this is my night of victory. Lift your voice and cry, cry, cry. Cry unto the God of your salvation. They must be broken. They must be broken. I contend. I contend by faith. I contend. I contend by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. I'd like you to pray and say, Every area that is not working, say it every area in my life that is not producing results. Tonight, you come under the influence of the anointing. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Your finances may not be working. Your spiritual life may be working. You are praying your, to a new dimension of God. We declare your majesty, your majesty, your majesty, your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Listen to the instruction the Lord is giving me. Please listen. Let's walk together, guys. Please, let's walk together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to shout three times. Listen. Hallelujah. Because what I see in the realm of the spirit is like I'm standing on top of this building and I'm seeing like a pot boiling, but it's about to tilt. That's what I'm saying. And the Lord is telling me that at the third shout, we are going to shout once, shout two. By the third shout, listen, the first thing that will happen, by the time we take that third shout, there will be such an explosion of the power of God, a mighty deliverance anointing. And that's how we are going to start off tonight. Are we together? It's called a healer. It's a mystery. It's a mystery that crumbles walls. When they went round the walls of Jericho, they shouted. The instrumentalists, everybody together. Hallelujah. Just be stupid enough to obey this instruction. And watch the God of wonders do mighty things in your life. You are shouting pain away. You are shouting sickness away. You are shouting captivity away. Hallelujah. My goodness, I'm telling you, the power of God is so strong in this place. Mighty, 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 mighty. I'm going to count three when I count three listen I want you to shout from the depth of your heart hallelujah and then the second time we are going to shout listen as surely as the God of heaven lives by the third shout in the name of the Lord God whose I am and who has sent me the wonders that will happen in your life by this third shout is a mystery brothers and sisters how God operates are you ready one two three hallelujah hallelujah please all those under the anointing just bring them out but really it's from the third time are you ready for number two we're shouting powers out of men's destinies we're shouting thrones dominions that have tied down the lives of men are you ready one two three hallelujah now be sensitive oh i feel it on me here it comes that grace that unction that grace that unction by the third shout hear me angels will begin to move in dramatic ways there will be an eruption of the power of god inside and outside are you ready i make a decree in the realm of the spirit and i pray according to the word of the lord as we make this shout i command thrones i command dominions i command altars and everything tying the destinies of men to give way in the name of the lord jesus are you ready now one two three Go ahead. Go ahead. Get Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shake 
Barada. Mighty things happening to men already. I tell you, it's like volcano. That's what I see in the spirit. Falling on people. Falling on people. You rave. your hands there are 21 people I see prophetic mantles the mantle of the prophetic the mantle of the prophetic 21 people that's what I see 21 people right now oh God in the name of Jesus wherever they are at the count of three let that mantle fall on them 21 one two three take it Take it, take it, new wine, take it, prophetic mantle, prophetic mantle, prophetic mantle, I call it forth. Call it forth. Mantles. 21 people. Stepping into prophetic anointings. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I activate it. I activate it. I activate it. I stand under this apostolic anointing. I activate it. the spirit the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit so many people having their hands tied with chains that's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit chains this is a spirit of limitation lift your hands everyone I want to take authority over this spirit wherever you are inside and outside I like you to get ready if you are in this category something will happen to you let the sword of the spirit part those chains open. Are you ready? I command the chains be broken now. 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 There's a family God is liberating. A whole family. They are here. I'm seeing God touch them. Right now. Giving them miracles. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, speak to me. Speak to me. Send a word that will bring me hope. Send a word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.
I'm hearing the name Memuna. We have to rush. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Is there someone with that name here? Memuna. That's what I'm hearing. Shabakoto Paratoya. Memuna. Outside. Who is that? Memuna, you are outside. Who is that? Come. Look at me. Where are you coming from? Huh? I'm looking at you. Listen, look at me. You just came from somewhere here. Huh? Is there a, a mic? I'm looking at you. And I'm seeing you enter transport. And you are coming from Abuja to come here. Where did you come from? From Abuja. From Abuja. That's where you are coming. Because I look in the realm of the spirit. And I'm seeing you in a car. And you came. And I'm seeing you praying. And asking God to visit you. And visit your family is that why you are here yes. your family you were saying if only you come here God will visit your family and God is saying he's bringing a breakthrough to Memuna and her family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I break that curse over your family by the power of the Holy Ghost it lives forever lift your hands and give Jesus praise lift your hands and give Jesus praise lift your hands and give Jesus praise look at me Please call the lady again. My dear, where is your mother? Uh, huh? What's she doing? She's a, huh? She's a civil servant. She's a civil servant. We have to pray because the devil wants to put sickness. She's complaining of pains in her body. She went to the hospital. Uh, she may not have told you. She went to the hospital last week and they said she should be careful because she's having problems with her back. Yes. Is that true? Yes. That's what the doctor said that she's having problem with her back. Yes. This is witchcraft. It's not just pain like that. Your mother cannot even watch for 10 minutes. Her yes. back will start paining yes. her. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for mama right now wherever she is. Let there be a supernatural miracle for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Madam, can I talk to you please? Yes, that madam that one with um, yes please make sure you are praying God is touching people we just want to be fast I wish we had time no 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 you don't have to kneel down please stand up where are you coming from madam from Jigawa Jigawa state Jigawa state yes. I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing a woman who has gone through pain and she's crying and I'm wondering why are you going through all of this uh, some of them I may not be able to say it here but you were invited here I'm with my sister. that's what I'm saying where is she I'm seeing two people where is the sister come come and stand hold on I'm hearing the Lord speak to me and saying there are two other people yes. there are two other people again yes. that you came with aside from you yes. where are they yes. where are they two other people where are they please come and stand I want to announce to you all of you that God will give you a testimony tonight that will surprise you please I want you to believe I want you to believe me the things I see I may not be able to tell you right now because um, one of you has a problem with your husband I don't want to go into hold on I should I talk do you want me to talk calm down let me talk to you you came out let me talk madam please look at me your husband needs deliverance you believe what I'm saying you love God you are a sincere woman but your husband needs deliverance. Huh? Where is he? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a woman crying. A man coming to vomit. Huh? Like I'm a vomit from drunkenness. And then this thing is telling on you. Huh? Are you a Christian? You love the Lord. I'm seeing you praying for this woman. Yes. Huh? Yes. That's yes, why I asked her, how do I know you are wearing something? I'm seeing you praying for her. Yes, in fact, sir. even when you stood there, 
you are saying that God should locate this woman yes, and sir. bless her. Yes, I'm hearing sir. your prayers. The Lord is ministering it to me and he's saying you should bless her. And the Lord God of heaven is saying he's going to bless her and bless you too. Hold on. Let me talk to you. Will you believe what I tell you? Why am I seeing you in a wedding gown? Are you married? Yes, sir. I'm seeing you in a wedding gown. Listen to me very yes. carefully. And I'm seeing two men standing. Hold on. I'm seeing one man and I'm seeing another man. Yes, and the man is saying he married before this one. Yes. He comes to you in a dream. Yes, is that sir. true? Yes, sir. This man I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Tell me the truth. Now don't be embarrassed. Yes, this has affected your marriage. Stand up. It's time to deliver you. Because I'm seeing you get married and I'm seeing two men. Your real husband and another one in the realm of the spirit. He comes to you in a dream. But the Lord is saying I should set you free. Elohim, you reign. You reign. You reign. Elohim, you reign. Lord is showing me a lady you left the hospital this morning your mother is in the hospital it's part of the reasons why you came here please who is that your mother you left her in the hospital and you came here please when you get that person let me pray for her because God wants to do a miracle I want to pray for you the Bible says what God has joined let no man put asunder God did not join you on any spirit entity and he's going to deliver you in the name of Jesus be free let her go now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I speak to you by the power of the Holy Spirit madam please look at me your husband needs deliverance his own money finishes on friend and friends and beer is that true is that true because I'm seeing him not only drink but buying for his friends and they finish the entire money you are a very kind woman but the truth is he's not giving you even one naira you don't even get money from him but the lord is going to be changing things now let me tell you how it will change it will look as if it's getting worse but you watch and see what god is going to be doing you believe that yes i'm going to pray for you father in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle a supernatural miracle a supernatural miracle a supernatural miracle there is a woman from Katsina. There is a woman from Katsina. A woman from Katsina. That's what I'm seeing. A woman, you are outside. You didn't cover your hair. You are from Katsina. Where is that person? Is there someone like that, please? Where is that person? Why are you clapping? Where is the person? Please come. From Katsina. Look at me. Stand up, stand up, madam. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Look at me. The Lord is saying I should quote a scripture for you. When the Lord again shall turn your captivity, He says you will be like them that day. Madam, you have cried enough in this miracle service. The God of heaven is about to wipe your tears. Mary. Mary. Who is Mary? Mary. Mary. I know there are many Marys. Hold on, please. Hold on. Let me call the Mary. The Mary is in this row. Mary, you are seated here. No, 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 no. At the back, you are wearing a dark cloth. Right here. You didn't cover your head. The Mary is in. No, like, I don't know if it's a dark cloth. Like, it has flower. It's a gown. It's a gown. Straight down. Gown, not gown with skirt. Is there someone like that? Mary, this row. The angel of the Lord is there. Is it a gown or someone? I'm seeing something with flower. Is there someone like that? Please find out. Mary, I need to talk to that person. I need to talk to that person. You're the one? Okay. Well, come, I'll talk to you. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Akwaibo. You are from Akwaibo? I stayed in Tansini. I know. Are you married? Yes. Where is your husband? 
I have to pray for you. God wants to give you breakthrough. My goodness, lift your hands. I'm telling you, I just saw like a wind and the Lord said they are angels. Watch what happens in the congregation right now. Angels, 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 angels bringing impartation to people. I just saw like a wind in the spirit. Angels cutting away things. That's what I'm seeing. Angels cutting away things from people. They are removing things in people's bodies. That's what I see. Like in a slimy substance living people this is breakthrough breakthrough god is giving people breakthrough hallelujah ma let me pray for you what do you do ma hallelujah hold on i'm looking at this woman don't be afraid correct me if i'm wrong i'm looking at you where is kasham i'm looking at you ma and i'm seeing her name on your head and I was wondering and the Lord no 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 hold on come come I'm looking at this woman and, and I'm seeing the name of this lady Kasham on her head and I thought your name is Kasham but the Lord told me it's not Kasham the, what she's practicing is what you are now what what are you doing I'm a nurse what are you doing I'm a nurse you're a nurse that's what I'm seeing in the spirit that's what God is telling me because I'm looking at you and I saw her name written on your head and the Lord said I should call her and make see this is not diabolic Hosea chapter 12 it says I have spoken to you by the prophet I have multiplied visions he said I have spoken to you in similitudes this is not jamboree we have a lot of things to do God is locating people and when he's doing it for one he's doing it for many people time will not allow for everybody to be called but I just want you to believe believe in what God is doing in the name of Jesus Christ that's that's the that's the only reason why you are here ma i want to pray for you because i'm seeing the lord promoting you and lifting you you believe that if god grants grace you will return and testify hold my hands ma in the name of jesus christ may the god of heaven promote you and lift you right now in the name of jesus ma i want to pray for you where are you from please i'm from anambra but I'm from Jigawa. I want to pray for you. What do you do? Nurse. I'm a nurse. You are a nurse too. Yes. I want to pray for you. The devil wants to put sickness in your body. And this is not a nice, this is not something I will even say. The devil wants to put it in your body, but will take authority over it right now. Please hold my hands, man. In the name of Jesus, Lord, he will fortify her. I command that spirit to leave you right now. Out! The devil wants to put sickness in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ma, look at me. The pain is living and you are going free. You have cried. I have, I'm seeing a woman who has cried. But God is stepping in. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. Lord, the grace that makes things happen. May that grace bring this woman out of pain in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Come, stand here. I want to pray. There's bad luck in your family. Eh? Serious bad luck. Where's your father? Quara State. Quara State. I'm seeing a man in Quara State just going around in circles, not even doing anything meaningful. We have to pray. It's one thing to move physically, but it's another thing for your life to move too. Eh? And I'm going to pray for you. You love Jesus. Please be very serious with the Lord. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Emeka. Emeka. I'm hearing the name of someone. Emeka. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let there be a miracle for you. Let there be a miracle for you. In the name of Jesus. Emeka. The Lord is ministering to me. I'm hearing the name of someone. Emeka. The Lord is giving you a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Emeka, you are outside. I'm seeing two Emeka coming. i tell you, I see like a screen. One, you have beard. One, you are wearing white. Hello, King. You reign. You reign. You reign. I 
I'm seeing the spirit of death on you. Don't be, I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm seeing the spirit of death on you. The devil wants to destroy your life. We have to pray for you. Sir, look at me. What do you do? You are a student. I'm going to pray for you. You love Jesus and the hand of God is upon your life. Huh? It's not just an ambition for business, but the anointing of God is in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sir, I need to pray for you. I need to pray for you and destroy something that wants to kill you. Huh? So it's just a simple prayer. I'll pray for you. Don't be afraid. I'm not, I'm, we're not prophesying doom. You get what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that thing to leave you. In the name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness, it leaves you right now. Sir, hold my hands. I pray that the anointing of the Spirit will come upon your life right now. Step into a new level of grace by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's not by power, it's not by might. I bring an anointing to your life that takes you to a new dimension. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a lady who is going to shout under the anointing. Just carry her like that and bring her to me. There is a word. No, it's inside here, it's not outside. Right here. Carry her like that and bring her. It's a message. Just carry her like that and bring her. This is what I see in the realm of the spirit. As she's lying down like this, that's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. And I'm hearing Ezekiel 2 verse 2. It says, and the spirit entered me and set me upon my feet. The Lord is bringing not just deliverance to you, and your family but the lord is bringing i'm hearing the word restoration and the lord is saying i should prophesy to you receive it in the name of jesus it comes upon you by the power of the holy spirit please bring this lady for me just just carry her carefully if she can please lift your voice and pray and say lord visit me in the name of the lord jesus christ I break every hole you have with her life in the name of Jesus I'm looking at a lady in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing a spirit wearing a crown and the Lord is saying he's removing that crown that's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit this is a lady who loves God but I see her connected to things that have to do with marine powers and I'm seeing the lady with a crown and the Lord is taking it in the name of Jesus Christ I command freedom right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I command freedom right now. Be free. Go! Let her go now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to pray. Before we pray for the sick, there's something the Lord is showing me. Please, I'd like you to lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. The power of God is going to come on certain people. I'm seeing deliverance in families this is not just you you are standing for your loved ones i'm seeing mighty deliverance is happening in families and the lord is saying one more time we should shout that name jesus in the name of the lord jesus as we shout jesus i like you to shout all your heart at the count of three the moment you do that i see deliverance coming to families and what they could not do in many years will be done within one month what they could not do in many years will be done within one month in the name of Jesus one, two, three right now deliverance 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 Shakataba. families I command it inside and outside inside and outside Deliverance, what could not be done in 10 years, in 10 years, it will be done in one month. What could not be done in 10 years will be done in one month. What could not be done in 10 years will be done in one month. Hallelujah. Self time in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. 
every door stopping me from entering the next level right now i command that door broken lift your voice and begin to pray pray yourself to the next dimension Doors are opening. Pray inside and outside. Doors are opening. Doors are opening. Doors are opening. Hallelujah. 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 Listen, many of you may not understand what is happening in the realm of the spirit, but you see, the presence of God is where change happens in the life of men. Just like this, you will walk out and you will see things happen in your life. Just like this. There are chains that tie men. There are chains that hold down destinies. There are chains. Please bring this lady for me. Yes, this lady. Just this very lady. Just bring her. I keep the chains falling. Hey, I keep the chains. I keep the chains. I keep the chains. I keep the chains. I hear the chains, I hear the chains There is power in the name of Jesus Deliverance is coming for you There is power in the name of Jesus There is power Hallelujah. Uh, Jimmy, the Lord is giving me a word. I saw an eagle flying, and the eagle came and entered you. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's restoring to you the spirit of prophecy. That's what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. He's restoring to you. I saw an eagle fly, and it entered you. And the Lord is saying he's restoring the spirit of prophecy. 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 Hallelujah. I'm looking in the spirit. And I'm seeing people carry load. And God is saying I should bring down that load. Lift your hands. Lord where are they? Carrying loads that do not belong to them right now at the count of three let that load come off you right now one two three right now right now right now anyone carrying any load every load every load every load every load every load every load that is not of god Every load that is not of God. Every load that is not of God must leave you. Must leave you. Must leave you. Must leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we are going to be very fast. Hallelujah. I was walking and the Lord said I should go back. Praise the Lord. Please don't mind me. Just allow me to do what the Lord is saying. And the Lord is saying I should walk right here. Outside. Right and go outside. Please hear me. And the Lord is saying as I walk. For every road that I pass. If there is a spirit holding your destiny. It must leave you. Please believe me. 
I lift my hands right now. Right now, as I'm passing, the anointing of the Spirit is touching people, destroying yokes, destroying yokes, destroying yokes right now, destroying yokes from my left and my right, destroying yokes, any spirit tying down any man's destiny. Right now, 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 right now. Right now. Right now, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, now listen to me, those outside, don't be afraid it will not rain, but watch this, lift your hands, I'm going to walk this way, and the power of the Holy Ghost, you are enduring this rain, as I walk through, any spirit tie your life, must give way right now are you ready right now right now right now right now right now i release everybody from bondage 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 right now i stretch my hands i stretch my hands i stretch my hands right now i stretch my hands i stand by an anointing as i pass your row any devil tying you will let you go right now as i pass your row as i pass as I, oh, as I pass your rope, as I pass your rope, now, right? Every spirit, every spirit responsible for your limitation you are enduring the rain you cannot go back the same I came out to join you hallelujah please make sure you pray I'm moving around we are going to pray for you. Please lift your hands. Make sure you are praying. There's no spirit that will stand. Hallelujah. As many who can come in, don't worry. Just push them in. I know it will be a bit stuffy, but push as many people everywhere and let's pray we have to hurry up just push them as many there are some who may not be able to do much but then we are praying we are praying say after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus every power holding me say it again in the name of Jesus every power holding my breakthrough tonight your time is up go 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 lift your voice and pray pray every power every force hallelujah now hold on I know that there are so many people coming in just give them room to come in just make every adjustment not all may be able to come in but it's a sacrifice it's a sacrifice it's a sacrifice we want to pray for the sick now now please be careful so we don't have people marching on people hallelujah we are going to do two things at the same time all those who came trusting God for healing now is your time please walk with the protocol walk with the ushers I'm going to ask you to come out and stand here don't match the people in front while they are doing that ushers begin to pass your prayer request begin to pass your prayer request
There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Power to break every chain. Break every chain. I sense a strong healing anointing. A strong healing anointing entering this building. Break every chain. 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 Hallelujah. Now we're going to minister to the sick. Please hear me. No matter what the situation is, as you stand right here, I want you to believe God for healing. You've heard the testimonies of people. You've seen the things that God is doing in this place. Don't make the place rowdy. Just be orderly as we pray for you. Just a touch and you return back. We may not have the time to take testimonies. Hallelujah. Please say to me, you will join me. Where's Pastor Jakes? I'm glad to have them around. And they'll make this work easy. The anointed people. As we pray for you, I want you to believe God for healing. The moment you are prayed for, as you walk back to your seat, do what you couldn't do before. Don't just sit down and hope you are healed. The Bible says they came to hear and to be healed. They came to hear and to be healed. Everyone lift your hands in one minute and pray and say every sickness in my body is time for you to go. Every incurable disease. Go ahead and pray. Every incurable disease. You are living. Hallelujah. Worship team, you help us while we minister Pastor Jakes. Watch me please. We are going to pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to believe in the God that heals. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Make sure you are praying in tongues. Don't just be whiling away time. Drop your prayer request and be praying. Pray in the Spirit. And say, Lord, you are going to visit me. To break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, this I consider these sessions to be the most powerful. I know that you have to be a man of the spirit to understand all these things, the word of knowledge, ministering to the sick is very important but sincerely there is only so much are we together there's only so much there are thousands of people here and there is only so much you can see this represents the prayer request of so many people and there are so many others um, online and this is when we get to give God chance to reveal himself as a God of wonders hallelujah our time is spent but I want you to make sure that you participate we are going to pray on this right now and then afterwards um, I'm going to prophesy over our lives then we'll take a few announcements and we'll be done I want you to maximize the night so that you don't go back and return the same hallelujah before I pray I, I want if you can rise please rise those on, under the anointing that's alright and then mothers with children that's alright but the rest of us, please, let's rise and take this very seriously. We're going to be praying right now. When Pastor Jakes and Ejimi are done, they can come and join us. We'll pray. Pastor Godwin, 
where are you please can you come and join us um, we are going to pray I like you to stretch your hands here and in one minute pray like your life depends on it and say the same way I have dropped this that's how I've dropped every challenge in my life I like you to pray please pray Koinonia open your mouth inside outside online please join us we are going to lay our hands prophetically on this request as we lay our hands on them we are releasing the power of God to every home to every territory in the name of the Lord Jesus make sure you pray from the depth of your heart father we agree with you we agree with you all kinds of miracles impossible situations make sure you are praying there is a God that answers prayers let fire fall on this request to God shakata prakata Pray, prophesy. We are speaking over this request. Wipe the tears of people, oh God. Visit individuals. Visit families. Strange miracles. Strange miracles. shall not arise again the second time. Allah, do taka boba baba shota inga dua ika tula katia mama makada dusa ika deda baba inka. It is done. It is done, says the Spirit of God. It is done. Oh, glory be to God. Go ahead and rejoice and give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Please lift your hands and receive the prophecy. This is where God is going to be changing lives. Hallelujah. Your destiny can change overnight because one word was received. Prophecy does not only reveal, it creates. This is where everybody gets to participate in the service take it here guys inside outside this is where I want you to believe you will rise in his name I don't know you reign you will rise in your name, I don't you reign. You will rise in His name. Three weeks ago, I had a very serious encounter with God. 
And the Lord told me something. He said, I have put my word in your mouth. As you speak it, I will make it happen. That's what the Lord told me. Please, I want you to believe it. Oh, blessed is she that believes. Don't sit down and doubt and waste your time. There is a spiritual dimension to life. It's not just, I have taught you principles. Believe me when I tell you there is a spiritual dimension. Gates and doors over the lives and the destinies of men. I pray every gate that must be opened right now I speak to you Efata be open now 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 that chain tying any man's destiny tying the speed of your progress you are moving but you are not making impact right now I release upon you an auction for speed an auction take it an auction for speed an auction for speed the Bible says and the hand of the Lord please help them the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah he gathered his loins and ran on barefoot he overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel I don't know what you have done from January to now but I prophesy from now till the end of June do what you have not done in five years do what you have not done in five years do what you have not done in five years hallelujah Jacob dug a well and they covered it they dug another one they covered it they dug the third one and they left it and they called it Rehoboth they said God has given us our space where you have been begging for relevance it's like there is no place for you in life it's like there is no place I stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle take your place in life take your place in destiny take your place in ministry take your place in destiny take your place in ministry whatever has covered your glory whatever has covered your glory I stand tonight I invoke the powers of the heavens and I command let your glory be released now be released now be released now anyone here called jobless between now and the next two months I don't care what is the reason but I pray as surely as the God of heaven lives we give you a job here now we give you a job here now we give you a job here now it says to appoint unto them that morning Zion listen there are some of us you are making progress but no help in your life you fight for everything by yourself you pay for everything by yourself when you are in trouble there's nobody to speak for you at the gates where are your helpers who stopped them from entering your life who said it must be this hard I go down on my knees I call your helpers by prophecy in the name of Jesus from the north to the south to the east to the west from the north to the south to the east to the west from the north to the south to the east to the west receive of their ministry 
listen let me tell you there is nothing more tragic as having no helper no man can stand alone you need voices to speak to you at the gates of destiny you need men to endorse you and say help him you can't have to explain yourself to everybody who is speaking for you I pray again whoever must appear in your life from now till June business helpers financial helpers marital helpers career helpers I call you forth I call you forth hallelujah listen lift your hands there are some of you your dreams and visions used to be opportunities for intense revelation where God will show you secrets it made your life easy till something shot you from visions and dreams I pray every dead dream life every dead manifestation of visions like a mantle receive restoration now restoration of dreams prophetic dreams visions prophetic vision hallelujah please stretch your hands towards me please stretch your hands towards me the hands of a man represents your responsibility represents your wisdom represents your agency for bread i pray for you whatever has mocked the creativity of your hands so that your potentials are underutilized isaiah 48 verse 17 i am the lord that teaches thy hands to profit i pray the grace that makes your hand productive take it now take it now take it now take it now the grace that makes your hand multiply take it now everything called barren in your destiny physical barrenness spiritual barrenness academic barrenness career barrenness right now I cause the spirit of barrenness from his root and I command be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful hallelujah lift your hands in the next one minute I want us to pray because everyone will receive something listen listen what we're all receiving is an upgrade of grace listen he said grace be multiplied grace and peace be multiplied the grace upon a man's life can multiply should multiply must multiply there are three things that happen to you when god lifts you one he multiplies your grace two he adds to your responsibility three he increases your territory of influence both spiritually and physically i pray for you lift your hands some of us you have not backslidden but you've not risen beyond certain levels you have stayed there at a level everything that is alive grows please i want you to receive i told you this meeting will have impartations the impartation is not falling on the ground and rolling impartation is receiving something tangible in your spirit hallelujah Paul said I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift he said to the end that he be established I pray for you lift your hands every grace that is dormant in your life every grace that is useful but it has stayed at a level and is made no matter how you try to rise it stands there 
in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the apostolic office I pray for you may that grace be upgraded now shake it receive it receive it take it an upgrade of favor an upgrade of wisdom an upgrade of power fire power fire fire prayer fire what fire prayer fire what fire an upgrade of supernatural wisdom an upgrade of access access to men of influence I pray for you listen what your current level of grace could not bring you into I empower you to go back and conquer that realm oh let me repeat what I'm saying there are levels in life and there are graces that are like keys you can get to a level and be stuck there no matter what kind of deliverance you can stay there because graces are like flights they can take you beyond certain levels some of us just need a little upgrade to overcome the obstacles you have tried prayer has brought you so far I pray for you whatever dimension must be added so that you can fly like the eagle that you are receive that dimension now receive that dimension now receive that dimension now hallelujah the bible says and you shall be called with a new name which the mouth of the lord shall speak it says you shall be called hefziba and pula a well desired land i pray for you everything that makes people run away from you they plan to help you but when they come they change their mind they plan to bless you but when they see you they consider what they are about to sow there is a spirit that cut short breakthroughs I pray for you in the name of Jesus I pray the blessing that was prophesied is said to Jacob the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed that aura that attracts favor receive it right now receive it right now whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered let me say it again whoever vowed and said it is through his dead body you will rise I said may that prayer be answered listen the Bible says in five things the Lord will deliver you he said yes six he will deliver you from the scourging tongues of men it was a revelation that was given Job that men stay and use their tongues to trap the destinies of men I pray for you whoever has used his tongue like a net to trap your life I release you right now I release you right now I release you right now hallelujah the kind of finances your hands has not touched I pray for you between now and the end of this month may God do something that must bring tears from your eyes may God do something that must bring tears from your eyes may God do something that must bring tears from your eyes anyone here marked for death that death is eyeing you waiting for the day you will get on the road waiting for the day a bike will come close to you to kill you and take your life I pray for you in the name of Jesus we forbid the earth from receiving your body we forbid the earth from receiving your body there are five elements I'm rounding up that are the conduits through which the supernatural finds expression on earth five elements all through scripture the supernatural cannot manifest on earth without the instrumentality of these five elements number one is light God is light the entrance of thy word give it light 
let there be light number two water the fish and the birds of the air in Genesis came out of water water represents abundance number three fire hallelujah it's a mysterious instrument not threatened by any other element yet refines every other number four wind the mystery of sound the mystery that takes sounds and realities he said I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound that sound came back in Acts chapter 2 a sound hallelujah and the last element is the earth the prophet said O earth hear ye the word of the Lord he said for from dust thou art and to dust thou shalt return hear me I want to pray just one deep mystery for you the earth is a universal point of contact every man makes contact with it for you to be alive you must make contact with the earth your feet must touch the ground your helper's feet is touching this ground you are touching no 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 no. it's not amen it's a mystery the office where you are to be employed is on this ground it's not in the air hear me please the bank that holds the favor you are looking for has contact with this earth and the prophet said oh earth you are a living thing you are not just stones hallelujah are we together hmm. it says they will not be able to oppress you because you have made a covenant with the stones i pray for you whoever wants to disfavor you just like the stars fought for deborah may the earth fight for you May the earth fight for you. Quarter to shame. May a mystery manifest that you don't understand to bail you out. Listen. When men say let's see what will become of him. I pray a mystery. My goodness. Another way. May God bring another mystery. And deliver you. In the name of Jesus. The heat and the turmoil in Nigeria we love our nation we pray for them and we pray sincerely out of a sense of nationhood but I pray for you the mystery of exemption that can exempt a man it says for when men say there is a casting down for you you will say there is a lifting up I prophesy a lifting up regardless of the recession this is still your year of multiplied grace Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give God thanks. Thank Him sincerely. Lord, we thank you for your word. Listen, I want you to go back realizing what happened to you. Don't be like the man who looks at himself at the mirror and leaves and forgets. These prophecies have come upon you like a mantle. You enforce them in the place of prayer. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin.